The province and the Jeju Free International City Development Center met this week to seek a solution for the future of the Yere complex. But it looks like bumpy roads are ahead for the complex. Mike Laidman reports. Officials representing Jeju province file into the office of the vice governor alongside employees of the Jeju Free International City Development Center. This was their first meeting since the Supreme Court ruled that all administrative measures regarding the Yede Resort residential complex were invalid last month. During the trial, eight landowners at the site claimed the appointment of developers for the city planning project and the implementation of the plan were invalid. The court agreed and ruled in favor of the plaintiffs. Relevant departments at the provincial office and the task force that JDC started discussed future plans for the Yere complex. The meetings are being chaired by Vice Governor John Song Tae. The construction of the Yere complex was 13% complete three years ago, but it has been on hold until now. And recently, with the ruling by the Supreme Court, the project is essentially lost. In order to resume construction, the JDC, as developer, must begin negotiating land purchases with the owners. But the situation is challenging. Prices have surged compared with years before when the center simply expropriated land in the village. Meanwhile, if the JDC gives up construction and returns the expropriated land to its previous owners, it must still pay for the removal and disposal of already built structures. Landowners and area residents are requesting a sincere apology for the way things have progressed over the past number of years. There is a bumpy road ahead for the Yede complex. It seems as though an agreement between the province, area residents, landowners and developer will not be reached anytime soon. Mike Lademan, KCTV.